hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl yeah michelle today we will be making this beautiful tutu dress for my baby girl if you are interested in knowing how i achieved it please don't forget to subscribe like and comment stay tuned This is the fabric I bought. This, the name of the fabric is called Chins. I'll be using it for lining the skirts and also the upper parts. I also bought 5 meters of soft net that I'll be cutting into pieces so that I create the tutu part. I intended to use this also but then I ended up not using it. Let's draft the pattern. I first draw the standard line or a basic line that will serve as my shoulder line and then I went on to mark my shoulder to shoulder measurements and I marked my shoulder measurement I came down by half an inch because this is a baby girl's dress as she's just six years old and then I connected all my lines I came down by one inch to mark my neck width and then I connected my lines to get my neckline. From the shoulder line, I marked my back length measurement of which was 10 inches and then that line will serve as my waistline. I draw a line across and then I divided my waist by four and remember this is a child or this is a kid's uh, bodies so there's no darts needed I went to my shoulder line and my my armhole divided by two and then I made a point there that line will serve as my bust line now I labeled my lines the waist line and the bust line and then what I went on I went to my shoulder line to my bust line and draw a line down and then i marked the middle of the armhole line so that i created i came in by half an inch and then i i went and divided my bust into four and then whatever answer i got i then marked it on my bust line i then went on to shape my armhole with my curve roller And then I went on to mark also or to draw a line from the bust line to my waistline and then I added one inch sewing allowance remember there is no dot because she's just a child I'll be using my pattern, the one that I've already made, to create the other pattern of which will be, now we are creating the back pattern. I went on to my pattern paper and marked one inch first and that will serve as my zipper allowance. And then I placed my front and traced everything as it is and then I went on to cut. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to like the video and to comment down below i truly appreciate your support and also i would like to take this opportunity to welcome all our new subscribers and also to thank everyone who's been with me on this journey i truly appreciate you
this is my back pattern so i am tracing everything and labeling all my lines so that i will know which is which so now this will serve as my back pattern i will go on and cut it from it As you have seen, the shape of the bodies of the dress is a V shape. But then um, I went on to my pattern to mark on a two inches upwards. And then on the shoulder line, I went in by three and a half inches. And then I connected those lines. Though later on, I realized that the V was not deep as I wanted it. So I went on again to cut or to create a new V shape so I took my bag and my front pattern and made sure that because now my shoulders are no longer equal I took my front compared it to my back so that I will mark where the shoulder line ends on the back and then I went on to my back pattern also to create a shape from the zip line and the shoulder and then I connected because I wanted it to give some shape at the back to go down a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to like this video and share it these are our patterns that i have drafted so far so now i think what we're going to do we're gonna go to our fabric and cut it from there the mistake i made when i was buying the this fabric i bought only one meter and if you are so keen in doing this dress make sure that you get two meters at least so that you won't have the problems that i encountered i used the same fabric to line it because i did not buy my lining so i used this one to line the upper part now we are marking the skirt and then it's i will only gather the down part and i will use this to attach my lining so as you can see i was running out of fabric but i had to make a plan as a fashion designer make sure when you buy this or when you want to try this you get enough fabric Or now we're gonna get my lining remember the dress has some and the shape of the V I attached the net so what I'm gonna do now is to mark on my pattern paper how long I wanted the so then I'll be able to mark on my net how much I want from there I went on to cut on my pieces on the net of which i made sure that i cut like three pieces you know three pieces and the length was more like um two inches but i i made like three inches so that i will be left with some sewing allowance i went on to my net and i marked all my pieces there it's folded into four I will use these pieces and gather them, do a gathering on them so that I'll be able to attach it on the v-neck. But another thing that I've realized, when I was doing this, I made it too thick. So it was hard for me to put it 
nicely on the neckline make sure that when you are doing that for yours you don't make it too thick i think even two lines for a two year uh, for a six year old child that will be okay so now what we're gonna do for the skirt part at first i wanted to make like three layers you know but then i realized that no i think i would go for like eight layers not eight for four layers of which i needed four different pieces with four different lengths and the first one the first length i was intending to do was eight inches nine inches the second one and the third one was eight inches but then later on i realized that now i need to add another layer since i had more fabric that was left and then i went on to cut to add on a six inch length on this net Don't forget to like the video, to subscribe and to comment down below. I truly appreciate your support and I've seen how much this channel is growing. I truly thank you guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Hence, I went on to cut on my pieces. I made sure that I put on my numbers to label it which length was this and which length was what so for each i cut like different uh pieces it was not the same of in other pieces i made like four pieces in others i made like five but the first one was more like of three or four and I got all my four pieces with four different lengths and then I went on to label each so that I will know which one I'm working on. This is what I did. So I will take the first one of which it's six inches length. I cut on to remove the salvage and then what I did, I went on to my sewing machine to connect all the pieces together so that it will be easy for me to do a gathering I'll use this one for the upper part to make a gathering and attach it on the upper bodies of which is my front. So I went on to my machine, I attached it, I gathered and I attached it to the pattern bodies and then now what I will do, I will went, I'll go on to my sewing machine and top stitch. You see what I meant, don't make yours too thick because mine was very thick and it make it hard for me to top stitch though i tried though i tried and then this what came out so now i will go on and work on the back pattern
don't forget to subscribe to my channel to like this video to share truly appreciate your support i truly do so now i went on and put on my back party now i'm working on it i'll place the right side on top of the right side and then take it to my sewing machine i sew it down and i went on to put it on with the back and the front now what i will do i will want to close off the armor because in this dress there are no sleeves so i pin it together like the right side facing the right side and then took it straight to my sewing machine and close it down as you can see how i made it i did the same thing for the other side so this is our upper bodies i went on to close all the sides so that the fabric does not frail this is how i made it Now I'm working on the lining part. Remember, I have two pieces here, and I will add just straight pieces with the length that I desired. So what I will do, I'll take it to my sewing machine and sew it down and then come back. And then now, what I will do, I will mark all the lines that I will need because remember, this dress is made in layers. So what I will do, I will take on my soft net and take it to the machine and put on all the pieces together and then I will gather them and then come back on my lining and work on it. Remember this dress is made of different layers. So I will need also to mark which or the length that I will need on each. So I did the whole thing. I I put on all my pieces together so that it was gonna be easy for me to attach it on the skirt part. So now I'm marking the lines that I need. I first went on to gather my lining, but then I realized that I wouldn't be able to attach my lines in the correct manner if i did that so i suggest even if you want to try this dress make sure on the lining you mark all your lines first you make them visible so that you will know where to attach your gathered net and so that it will stay properly on the fabric So now I'm transferring these points to the whole of the fabric so that I'll be able to mark or to place my net in the correct manner. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to like, and don't forget to comment. I welcome all our new subscribers, and thank you for your support. It truly encourages me to come and do more videos here. Yeah. And the videos that I've been requested to do, I promise uh, as soon as I find time, I'm going to do those videos thank you if you have any request you can send me your picture on my email on which design you want me to try on this channel i truly appreciate your support guys it really encourages me it really encourages me I went to my sewing machine, I gathered all my pieces together and you can see that I even went to my fabric to mark where I wanted. So 
the one the net with length number 10 is the longest one so i want it beneath i want it on the lower part of the dress so i went on to mark it but remember and make sure take precaution that when you are get when for, to make the lining longer we we put on pieces together ne? and then try to make sure that the side where you you sewed is in the inside of the dress and this is how i pinned the lining to the fabric i hope as i'm explaining it's clear for everyone to understand you know if you run and you don't understand at least just keep on watching and see what i'm trying to say how to do You see what i mean there it's on the outside so you need to make sure that when you are pinning this thing down you make sure you put everything else inside so that your garment will look more neat and professional Now I will take this to my sewing machine as it is and sew it down. And then I went on, I sewed down everything as you can see. All my three layers already. Are there remember there's another fourth one of a length of six inches that still need to be put together and be joined here so what i will do now i will take this the lining part and then gather it on my sewing machine that will make it easy for me to attach the first length I've went on to my sewing machine and attached it and one thing that i did on my waist measurement i made sure that i get the correct measurement for the baby girl you know so that it will be easy for me to attach the lower part with the upper part or the body's part so now i am measuring my waist measurement if it's correct because you need to do that you know like it's it is very crucial so that you won't have any problems when you are attaching the lower part to the higher part remember i ended up not using this is hard net i ended up not using because i saw that the dress was already full so i did not see a point of me using this one what i will do now i'm taking the upper bodies and then i will make a a waist belt for it because i wanted this to have a waist belt i went on off camera to cut on the waist belt and then i took it to my sewing machine and sew it down
so i went to my sewing machine and i put on my waist belt so now i will attach the lower part of which is my skirt part to the upper part i'll pin everything to down i find my center of the skirt and the center of my upper bodies and i pinned everything down if you have watched this far thank you so much for your love thank you for your support please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to like this video and comment down below and hit the notification bell so that you will get notified whenever i post a new video I went on to my sewing machine and put on all my pieces together so now what is left of me is to put on or to attach the zipper this is how our dress looks so far now I will mark one inch I will leave one inch for the zipper allowance that I added on my pattern earlier on when I was drafting it. So I will go on and close everything else by one inch. And attach my zipper. This was our dress. The girl is running. The girl is running like is running from me but this is how our dress turned out to be she was very happy we truly enjoyed her sixth birthday happy birthday kalina she just turned six this is how beautiful she looked on her birthday this is how this dress turned out thank you guys for your support thank you for your love thank you for everything In your life, until the night is over,